Have you given any more thought to that little proposition of mine, Jack? What proposition? Nothing. Uh, Harry just thought I might like to invest a bit of money in a project he's thinking of starting. We haven't even got enough money to pay the phone bill at the moment. Yes, I heard things weren't great at the moment. But we'll manage. So did Dad really sort someone out in prison or were you having his own? Oh, no, he sorted Manny good and proper. Real hard not with Manny and all. That's enough, Harry. Oh, come on, Dad, tell us. There's nothing clever about thumping somebody. So why did you do it then? To stop him hitting me some. Look, I said that's enough. OK. Andy, leave that. Get your coat on. I don't want any of you missing that bus. He's a good bloke, your dad. One of the best. You don't meet many people in this life you can depend on. You know, your eggs should be about boiling if you'd like to time them. And you see, modest with it. Andy. Right, I'm going. Right, be good, eh? And nice to meet you both at last. Yeah, you too. Yeah. No hanging about. Straight to that bus. Right, right. See ya. Nice kids. Yeah. And I'd like to keep it that way. So no more talk about money or the nick. All right. I'm sorry, Jack. I don't want to make life difficult for you. I just want to help you, that's all. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, Harry. But I don't want your money. And to be honest, I don't really want you hanging around. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, don't get me wrong. It's nothing personal. I like you. We've even sort of become mates. But I'm in the way. Look, Jack, send them all. Really, honest up. I'll get me gear. Oh, don't be daft. Here, have some breakfast. And I'll run into Hotton. Cheers, mate. I'll be in the backfield when you're ready. Mmm. Here we are. That should give you a good start to the day. <laughs> you really don't have to wait on me hand and foot, you know. Not since I enjoy it. Yes. Well, it is appreciated. A hard-working man like you can't go out on an empty stomach. <laughs> no chance with you around, eh? <laughs> of course, if I'm in any way overstepping the mark. Don't be silly. You just have to say. Really, Gloria? You're a great asset. Why can't you take her? You know very well where I can't take her. I've got drains to dig and the contracts will be here any minute. Well, I've got things to do and all, you know. She's your daughter as well as mine, Zach. Surely you can spare half an hour to take her to play. Oh, I can't pick her up. I'll pick her up. Oh, she's gone past a joke, this. It's time Emily got back here. No chance. She's as stubborn as you are. Well, we can't go on like this every morning. So, apologise to the grown up. She doesn't bear any grudges. Well, it's not my place to apologise. I've done no wrong. You practically kicked her out. No, I didn't. She went of her own accord. Only because you give her no choice. Well, it weren't right, her and him. It weren't proper. Look, the girl's over 21. She can do as she pleases. Not under my roof. Well, that's why she's gone. It were underhand. It were nothing to the sort. Don't you think that lass has suffered enough? Do you really begrudge her a bit of happiness? Oh, with him reason. Oh, that'd be your reason, would it? That speakers are fine. And that's why she's left. That's her choice. Look, you're the one that wants her back. Yeah, but I don't approve of her and him. Oh. I've had enough of all this. I haven't got time to stand here talking. These things need discussing, Lisa. Look, just get Bell to play group, would you? Look, Doug's here with his digger. I'll have to go. Happy birthday! Mm. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, for me? Of course. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Joseph chose it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Mm. Hey. And this is from me. Oh, what is it? What is it? <gasps> Winston Lee Hall. Oh, that's fantastic. Massage, reflexology, spa, sauna, jacuzzi. A whole day of pampered indulgence. Oh, that is just what I need. Well, I give you enough grief. Yes, you do. I don't bear grudges. And it's a super present. Thank you, both of you. Are you in tonight? Uh, well, yes, till seven, and then I'm meeting some clients and hopping for a drink. Strange thing to arrange on your birthday. Well, it's been fixed for ages. Why? Oh. No reason. Hey, Jesse? Beautiful place, Jack. Man could happily spend the rest of his life in a place like this. Things aren't always what they seem, Harry. Which is why you take my money. We've talked about that. It's clean, if that's what worries you. Yeah? Yeah, clean as a whistle. 
Oh, come on, Harry. When was the last time you earned three and a half grand legally? I didn't earn it. My son gave it me. Your son? Went to visit when I got out. Didn't want to know. Paid me to leave him alone. Never come back. Is this true? Conscience money. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I suppose I'm nobody to blame but myself. You could still use his money, though. What for? Fresh start. Why not? <laughs> Bit late to change my lifestyle, isn't it? You're going to need something to live on. Oh, not really, Jack. You could use it. I can't take your money, Harry. residence how may I help you uh, no I'm afraid mr. Pollard isn't in at the moment may I take a message yes yes mr. Fletcher um, could you hang on just one moment oh come in Betty I'm, I'm just on the phone sorry about that mr. Fletcher yes of course I'll tell him I'm sure he'll be in touch as soon as he gets back. Thank you. Bye. Well, you've certainly got your feet under the table, haven't you? Last time I called round, it were only scones. It's the least I can do to repay Eric's kindness. Well, just depends what it is. Housework, Betty. What are you trying to suggest? Well, I was just... Just wondering if there's out I should know about. Everything's still perfectly discreet, as you would expect from a man like Eric. Uh, so there's been no uh, new developments, then? I don't know what you mean. I mean, have you started taking baths together? <laughs> but if we had, would I tell you? How about a nice cup of tea? You're late. So, there's not much point me coming in when there's nothing for me to do. Well, there is something for you to do, as a matter of fact. A bit early for that, isn't it? <sighs> it's Zoe's birthday. I'm planning a little something for when she gets in. So? I want you to organise it. Me? Oh, you are joking. No. Go into Hot and fetch some nice cakes. And when Joseph comes back from school, you can help him make some sandwiches, decorate the table, that sort of thing. You want me to help Joseph? Well, you've got to get to know him sometime. <sighs> You'd be inviting me to the party next. Naturally. I'd expect nothing less. Oh, come on, you're having a laugh. Not at all. I said last night I'd spend more time with you, didn't I? But me, me and Zoe, do you think that's such a great idea? Don't worry about it. I'll sort it. You were the last person I expected to see in village this morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I got the distinct impression from Gloria that uh, you were up to your eyes digging ditches. I'm allowed to go for a bit of shopping before I pick my daughter up, aren't I? <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's not to do with me, love. I'm only reporting what was told. Well, pity you haven't got out better to do than sit around gassing all day. Well, she was ironing his underpants when I went round there. Hellfire. It must be love. <laughs> oh, Summit. <laughs> you know, it's getting to be a regular pastime in this village, living over the brush. Paddy was round at the shop the other day, bringing your Emily's watch back. He said she'd uh, left it in the bathroom. So they share the same bathroom? It doesn't mean they're sleeping together. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, it was just the way he said it that made me wonder. I can't see Paddy with our Emily in a month of Sundays. Oh, I don't know. I think they're very well suited. And I'm not the only one. Where the hell sack is in the mirror, half past? How am I supposed to finish the job and look after Val? I'll 
Don't worry about it, Lisa. Just relax. It's been a nightmare since Evelyn left. You don't realise how much you rely on a person till they've gone. She'll be back. No, I don't think so. Not according to Betty Eggleton. Well, what does she know about out? Well, she thinks that Paddy and Emily are an item. <laughs> nah, they're just mates. Are you sure? Well, I couldn't swear on it. I mean, I'm not at the house that much. So it could be true, then? Well, it could. Don't know Zach would be pleased about that. What wouldn't I be pleased about? Hey, where have you been? You're supposed to be back at half past. I got delayed. It could no doubt. No. I was doing a bit of business in Otten, if you must know. Now, what wouldn't I be pleased about? Oh, it's lovely, Nicola. Actually, it's from Alan. So what's he doing sending it round with you? Well, I was coming anyway, just that if I'd mind. Oh, I do wish people would stop tiptoeing about. I don't mind talking about the baby now. I mean, I can't go on pretending it didn't happen, can I? I'll tell him. Please do. Especially Carlos. Him and I have been mates for ages. We should be able to talk about anything. It's a hand. Yeah. yeah, well, we've been really busy with the pub and getting my room straight. Yeah. Gonna be happy living there? Hmm. Won't be forever, will it? Anyway, I've got plans of you. Who knows what's gonna happen? Latin blood, you know, Carlos. You're confident, aren't you? Why not be? We've hit it off. Got to go for it while it's there, haven't you? Yeah, but you hardly know him. Well, it's right. You know, don't you? Yeah, well, you just be careful. Learn to walk before you can run. Why shall I put these chat in? Well, I'll tell you what. Put them next to sandwiches here. That's a good lad. That is brilliant. Hey, egg sandwiches. My favourite. Uh, hands off. He has to wait for Annie Zoe, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes. What is this? Are you two ganging up on me? Well, it makes a change now, doesn't it? Now, it looks great. I didn't know you had it in you. Well, you know me, full of surprises. Quick, Joseph, here's your auntie's away. <coughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! This is lovely. Joseph's idea. <gasps> well, it's a wonderful idea. Thank you. <coughs> Charity did all the work. <sighs> Did she indeed? And the shopping and the sandwiches. And the table, I helped her. Yes, you did, <laughs> and that's why we thought she should stay. I don't have to if it's a problem. No, of course you do. You, you've, you've done a terrific job, thank you. Well, if you're sure. Of course she's sure. Look, enough of this talking. We are starving, aren't we, Joseph? Why don't we get into these before they start counting at the edges? Mm. Go on, you have the first one. <laughs> right, that smells good. Getting to be quite an expert. Just seen young Andy on the way in. Right little grafter, isn't he? Make hell of a farmer one day. Looks like you've had a successful day. Yeah, got some shirts, a couple of pairs of trousers. Great pair of boots. Some real good tramping in them. Listen, Harry, I've been thinking. You can stay an extra night. Give you some time to sort something out. Oh, that's very good of you, Jack, but I think it's time I moved on. You've got your life here, and I don't want to be in the way. I only really come to bring you the money. Oh, look, I know. Harry. I know. You don't want it, so there's now more to be said. I'll just pop upstairs, and I'll get changed, and then I'll be on my way. <laughs> I've got it. You didn't have to bring me out for a drink to apologise. Uh, uh, two fights, love. It weren't to apologise. I want to talk about Emily. We could have done that at home. Not with her cane around. Oh, I hope he's all right looking after Belle. Oh, of course he is. Now, come on. Do you reckon there's out him what Betty Eggleton says? Well, you never know with her, do you? I mean, she makes up as much as she is. Ah, but there's <sighs> rarely smoke without some fire somewhere. Well, it was just a bit of a shock. I mean, Baddy's almost family. Ah. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. You mean you're in favour of it? Well, it'd tie up a few loose ends, wouldn't it? After all, Paddy's almost a dingle. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day you'd approve of Emily having a new bloke. Well, neither did I, but this is different. It could just work. 380, please. I'll. Yeah. I mean, what if that is wrong? I mean, maybe they're just good mates. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? You obviously like each other. We should encourage it. Make it happen. Hang on. 
There's a long way between liking someone and living with them for the rest of your life. Yeah, but love can grow, can't it? Especially if it's nurtured a bit. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. It can be a dangerous thing, can matchmaking. Oh. Yeah, and it could be just what the pair of them need, right? So here's to it. Hey. Right, are you ready, Joseph? You help Auntie Zoe. One, two, three. Hey! Right, you got a make a wish? Okay. What did you wish for? Well, you mustn't say what you're going to wish for, otherwise it won't come true. Oh, yeah, Zoe. I got something for you. I think it's the stuff you use. It's very generous of you. Yes, it is. It's been a lovely party. Thank you. Can we play some games now? I think we've played enough games for one <laughs> night. Don't push it. Anyway, it's the only time you went for your bath. Aww. I'm sure Auntie Zoe will run it for you. Oh, sorry. I'm going out, remember? Yeah, me too. You're going as well? I've arranged to meet mates in Ottenham. Well, I thought we might have a quiet evening in. Sorry, it's been arranged for ages, Chris. Looks like you're the number one candidate for bed and bath duties. <laughs> Yes, it does, doesn't it? Still, if you're going to Hotton, you might as well give charity a lift. If you don't mind. No, it's the least I can do after all your efforts. Bye, Chris. Bye-bye, you. Have fun. Right, I'm all sorted. Here, sit down. Have some tea before you go. Oh, thanks, Jack, but it's all sent to you. I'd sooner be on my way. Cheerio, kids. Nice to have met you. Cheers, Harry. Yeah, good luck. And you look after your dad, OK? Yeah. Start your tea while I run Harry into hot. No, no, you won't. There's a bus from Village in 20 minutes. I checked. Look, it's no trouble, Harry. Your place is here. I'll be all right. Well, at least let me see you off. I hope I haven't upset things too much, dropping in and all that, Jack, but it was all done with the best of intentions. I know, I appreciate it, Harry. To be honest, I'll miss you. You're the only bloke I've met in my life as has stood up for me. I won't forget that. Yeah, well, you take care, you hear? And you. Much indeed for doing such a wonderful job with my laundry. Hmm. Excuse me. Uh. Hello, Eric Pollard. Oh, hello, John. What's the problem? Uh, no. I'm very sorry. Mm. Uh, well, I would if I had known, of course. I'm so sorry, yes, I, 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 I will. My... Huh? Mr Fletcher, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Eric. He did ring and he did ask me to tell you to ring him back, but Betty arrived in the middle of the call and it just slipped my mind. Betty Eggleton? What does she want? Just a chat. More like a gossip. I have to say, I'm not happy about you entertaining that woman in my house, Gloria. And to be frank, <laughs> it's very embarrassing for a man in my position to have to apologise to a council employee. I'm sorry, Eric. Is Mr Fletcher very important? <laughs> He's the building control officer. He's the one that's going to give the final OK on the factory next week, so we, <laughs> we have to keep him sweet. I don't know what to say. Then say nothing. Do you think we should maybe formalise our relationship? What? To dispel rumours. I understand what you're saying about Betty. Maybe it's time I started to pay you rent. Um, no. No need for that. But I'd be happier if we had a more formal arrangement. Nonsense. Now, you made a lovely supper, so let me prepare the coffee. <laughs> if you can't do a favour for a friend in need, then... Uh, can you do it? Eh? I 
guests will be giving us their thoughts on the missing organ scandal in just a moment. Also tonight, staying on the subject of medical research, we ask for the time to come down. Oh. Oh. You look shattered. How do you go to bed? <sighs> yeah, maybe I will. Where's Robert? He's upstairs on computer. I've been thinking about Harry. Yeah? Well, that he's been inside more than outside. <laughs> he was even in prison in the army. What do you mean? Well, we're going to send him to Korea. Frontline service. What, fighting? I guess so. Didn't fancy being used as target practice, so he legged it. I don't blame him. Got caught, though, didn't he? That's Harry's trouble. Keeps getting caught. No hope for him, then? No, not a lot. He didn't seem such a bad bloke. Oh, he's not a bad bloke, Andy. Just can't handle real life. He's generous, though. Just done too many years. 